Hello and welcome to Family Out in TV. Here we are today in lovely Blackpool. Could you guess? Could you guess we were in Blackpool from the tower behind? Um, yeah, here, been here, I haven't been here for about uh, two years now, obviously with COVID. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a little look today. We're going to go up to the top of Blackpool Tower just behind me, or was just behind me. Um, and then what we're going to do is going to pop to Madame Tussauds and see um see what's updated there obviously blackpool tower will be pretty much the same as uh as last time when we came here but last time i came it was in the dark so we will get a daytime view up at the blackpool tower today um and then tonight is blackpool illumination so we're going to have a little look at what's about for blackpool illuminations i know there's some additions i know blackpool are trying really hard to kind of extend blackpool illuminations all the way through to kind of december uh in just into the early parts of new year to really just kind of boost business and uh, you know make up for some lost time and uh, revenue so let's have a look see I mean um, they've got a Christmas event and I hope to maybe uh, come back with a coach trip for the Christmas event uh, like Christmas markets uh, so that'd be good if we can do that but hopefully you know we'll get a look at all the illuminations tonight and uh, yeah come join me as we go up Blackpool Tower Woof. So here we are at the top with the glass floor. Not a fan of this, like. Yeah, yep, not a fan like. A view out to the top, to the sea, which goes directly down to our feet here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Grab yourself a drink at the top of the Blackpool Tower, bar 380. And get all your views out over in Blackpool. We'll go a little bit higher, out into the wind, and see what we can see. Here we are, a little bit higher. I think we can go a bit higher than this, but he's one of the other levels. It's really mild up here. Actually, I was expecting it to be really windy. Last time we came up in the dark, really windy, really cold. Oh, there's there's a bit of wind. But just over there in the distance, we'll get here. You can see the uh, Blackpool Football Stadium. That's just where our coach is parked. Well, yeah, you won't have any great views here with this netting, unfortunately. Try and peep through. Well, look. Yeah. But yeah, look, we can go a little bit further up. Up here, Let's see how high we can go here. Eh? So we are now at 401 feet. Let's have a look. I've got some good views here. Yeah, obviously obscured by this netting, but for obvious reasons, I'm sure you understand. You can just, I don't know if you can see down there, that's the Winter Gardens. We have a lot of events and acts and shows on down there, very famous here in Blackpool. And then just behind that is actually the hotel that we use for our Blackpool trips. 
the uh, Comfort Inn on Adelaide Street, just right next to that Winter Gardens. And as I say, we do do the coach trips from Teesside, so if you are from Teesside, have a look. We've got plenty of trips to Blackpool next year. Myfamilyoutings.co.uk. Um, yeah, let's just keep looking out here. Got one of the piers here. I think this is the North Pier, just next to uh, the tower. And then we'll keep having a look over here. And then this is facing uh, south. You can see the central pier near us to us. Well, you will in a second. And then just in the distance, see the North Pier and Blackpool Pleasure Beach. But again, I'm not too sure how the focus is doing with this netting. I think it's getting the netting. Um, you're just going to have to trust me. You can probably see how high we are. But let's see if it go a little, that little bit higher and see uh, see what we can see. And here we are a little bit higher. I, would, I don't know how much higher we are. Probably about another 30 feet, so about 430 feet. But there you can see how this netting a little bit better in the distance there. North Pier and Central Pier. And this is the observation area. You can't go up these steps in the middle. I think that would be literally the tip, tip of it. You can't go up there unfortunately. But yeah, what, what an amazing view, eh? And lovely weather at the moment. So there you had Blackpool Tower. Um, now we're going to head out onto the seafront. Got Madame Tussaud shortly, but we'll see if we can see anything uh, in the meantime out front. If not, I will see you at Madame Tussaud's. Yeah, so we didn't get very far, literally five metres, but look at this uh, to scale model of the tower. It's pretty impressive. This can just be found, I believe we're on level 5 now, or level 4, and it's just here, in the foyer area, for everybody to have a look at. And then just out here, looks like there's um, those market stalls there, will probably be part of the Christmas event, or possibly it'll open up this evening, ready for Blackpool Illuminations, but um, some good additions. I'm sure there'll be some quirky, crafty shops in there, so worth a visit uh, either now or Christmas period. We'll have a look tonight, see if they're open. Here we are, Madame Tussauds Blackpool. Strictly theme tune. We're getting the pictures on the green screen. So we'll do a little brief walkthrough of Madame Tussauds. I have been here before and I've done a, more, a much more detailed uh, vlog of this. I'll put the link in the description below if you do want to see Madame Tussauds in much more detail. But what we'll do is we'll just skim over uh, the different uh, types of rooms. Obviously it'll be for different TV shows or music and stuff. And we'll do a little wander around. Uh, but if you want to see in more detail, take a look at our other vlog. And I'll put the link below. So here's your Strictly room test. And let's keep going. If there is anything new, I will stop for a little bit longer because obviously we won't have covered that before. And um, we're going into Doctor Who. And the TARDIS there. Got one. Dear Edna. And this guy here. I'm not sure who that's meant to be. 
comment below. And I'm a celebrity. Let's take a look. As you have matter there, and the gravitational pull is strong enough. As a member called the potato radius, anything smaller than the potato radius, in fact 200 kilometers, will usually be a regular shaped object, like a potato. Mars's moons, Phobos and Deimos, are only a few tens of kilometers across, and they're certainly not spec. But how moon? Bit of air grills. I'm a celebrity bridge photo opportunity there. Bit of more Fares, bit of Anton Deck over here. Bit of Alan Carr. So, I'm in for how the waxworks are made. And we're going to the Marvel area, I believe, Rover's Return and Sporting Academy. So let's go take a look. Stevie Gerrard, Wayne Rooney, Rooney, oh God, and Alan Shearer. Joe Hart. Phil the Powerhouse Taylor. Guy. And Lewis Hamilton. And there's some games here. Obviously, yeah, some female boxer that perhaps I should know. Apologies, ladies, I don't, I'm not too familiar with boxers in general. Never mind if it's female. But it's great to see female representation there. And just a little view outside to the pier. Yeah. Let's go to the marble area now. <laughs> Bit of Thor. Looking hammered. Hey, <laughs> that joke. Marvel area. Oh, sorry. Bit of Hulk. And then over in the background there, you can see Spider Man on the wall. Guardians of the Galaxy. Now we're off to the Rovers return. Bit of Coronation Street, can't go wrong. Here we are. I did used to watch Coronation Street back in the day. I don't watch it anymore. So I will know some of the characters, I'm sure, but. If there's any of the newer ones, I probably won't. Now I know these two, Jack and Vera Duckworth, with their lovely uh, bright bricks outside their house. There's the cabin, Rita's cabin. Don't know whose cabin it is now, but we'll, we'll stick with Rita. And here we are, Rover's return in here. Bit of Ken Barlow. No idea who this lady is, comment below. And now we're into the music section. Bit of Freddie Mercury there. Michael Jackson. Uh, not sure who this lady is. 
Shirley Bassey, there we go. I knew that, I didn't look at the thing in the background. Bit of Lady Gaga. Faceless lady. Another faceless lady. <laughs> Bit of Subo. Cheryl Cole. And the best X Factor winner yet, Leona Lewis. Benny Hill. And here we go with the Miz. Let's find our way out. I have no idea where we're going here. No. No. That's not not here because no, no, not here. Oh, this is all very confusing. Oh, there we are, we're out. Controversial. Where is Harry and Meghan? They are not here. Uh, not sure of the theming of this festival. Bit of Tom Jones there. My pretty little Ed Sheeran David Jason Keith Lemon I don't see you through a week See you through a window no lucky, no lucky. Don't know a catchphrase for these two. Unfortunately, the comedy zone. Nice to see you, to see you nice. Some of the merch here. Nice little shop. Right, so that was Madame Tussauds. Um, we've come out, as you can see, it's a little bit darker than when we went in, um, and the lights are starting to. Uh, come on and it does look start well it's starting to look a lot more impressive let's have a look at this um you can see the lights are starting to come on obviously we're giving it another half an hour to an hour and i would imagine it will be uh, a lot darker and these lights will look a lot more impressive and we'll take a look and we'll see what's uh, what's available here on the uh, on the seafront because i know there is a few additions just outside blackpool tower there's like a big stack of cards I know get illuminated at night the trams some trams will come along with lighting on um, and there'll be other things as well some entertainment probably along the way so we'll take a little look and uh, and see what we can find throughout the evening so here we are it's getting a bit darker just outside the uh, the tower and as I pointed out earlier those cabins that were out here uh, that have opened up this evening so we'll go take a look see what sort of food or stalls they have here um, and yeah it'll be even nicer once it gets uh, super dark but let's go take a look see what uh, what's on offer I think they need the lights turning on or they're, or they're all just saving on electricity um, craft stall hot dog stall foot long hot dogs five pounds it's not too bad for a big foot long and it looked more than a hot dog it looked like a meaty sausage uh, here we have uh, some alcohol of some sort dessert bar a uh, vegan dessert bar is it? I'm not sure. Craft stall. 
another craft star plates. And we'll have a look at this again in a little bit later when it does get a little bit darker, but it's lovely. Have a look, more hot dogs here. Giant hot dog, two pound fifty. Double dog, three pound fifty. That sounds up my street. That. Uh, there's a, and there's a DJ booth there. What have we got here? Barista coffee. And chutneys and oh no, it's a. Uh, <laughs> Not chutneys, I look at the jars, it's like bath bombs and uh, smellies. And then what's this one? Homemade mac and cheese, tomato soup, halloumi fries. Nice. And another crafty stall there. And then just here we've got some domes, but I'll film them again later when it's a little bit darker, but they look impressive already, even at this, this dusk type of light. It's not full night yet. But we will take a look. So he's one of the the light uh, domes here on the the seafront. See that behind, just the Blackpool Tower. Still not fully dark, but getting more impressive by the minute. Uh, here's another one here and just over there in the distance you can start to see the uh, ferris wheel starting to light up and all along the seafront here you can see the amusements are starting to stand out and as the evening goes along we'll get to see just how much they stand out and look impressive at night i think you'll know from my theme park vlogs everything at night with lighting is better so we will uh, take a look when it is pitch black so here we are it is now fully dark and we can see these lovely lights here down by the seafront just outside Blackpool Tower near the comedy carpet they call it look at that impressive Blackpool Tower so we'll take a walk along the seafront have a look at some of the lights along the way uh, and then obviously look at the pier there you can see the uh, the ferris wheel on the, uh, I think it's North Pier.
very impressive. And just as I've done that, Blackpool Tower has decided to turn its lights off. Are we Blackpool Tower? Have they had a power cut? Looks like Blackpool Tower's had a power cut. Perfect. Well, let's see if they come back on later. If not, you know where you saw it first. World exclusive. Blackpool Tower power cut. 16th of October. 2021. But yeah, just look at the uh, the pier there and the ferris wheel. Oh, hey, look, Blackpool Tower is back on. Didn't take very long, did it? Just having a break. Sparkly lights. They go down there. Let's go have a look at some of the amusements along the seafront here. Just everything's better lit up, isn't it? And we'll see if we can catch some of the old trams and the uh, the trams with the lights on along the way. They are quite hard to catch, so we'll have to see. There's an old tram there, but the one with the light, uh, they are quite rare. This deck of cards here, I understood that this was meant to be lit up. Maybe it's not meant to be lit up tonight, but I know it is a illuminated, uh, What would you call it? Structure? But uh, no, it's just not, not illuminated at the moment. Just over the road here, we'll go have a look, is Coral Island. Now, if you like your amusements, this is by far the best one in Blackpool, in my opinion. It's, by, it's definitely the biggest. Um, it has rides in there, hundreds of machines, but it has variety and kids eat free in there as well everyone So if you do bring your kids with every adult that pays, kids eat free in here, so that's great And then it's not like the adult meals are like double the price, so you kind of pay for it anyway They are normal adult prices, so it's a good deal Just look at the lights, how good are these? I love it Right, that's us done for today. Hope you have enjoyed the vlog of uh, Blackpool Illuminations, Madame Tussauds and Blackpool Tower. Please like and subscribe to our channel and there'll be more videos coming very soon. Thanks very much for watching everybody. Bye.